Hey guys, I'm back with news. I made bricklayers available for Prusa Slicer and Orca Slicer, and you can use it now. Bricklayers are a way to make 3D prints stronger in the set direction by interlocking the layers. For that I coded a post-processing script that shifts each other wall up half a layer, and compensates the first and last layer height. You also have the option to set an extrusion multiplier on the shifted layers to probably gain a little bit more strength. Stefan from CNC Kitchen made a video about this method a while ago, where he tests the strength of some prints, so go check it out if you are interested. And dear Stefan, if you want to test if the extrusion multiplier increases the strength, I would be very interested in that. This is not at all a new idea. Stratasys filed a patent for this in 1959, and now since about 8 years it has gotten public domain. However, another company made a new patent on it, which probably won't hold up in legal battle. If you want more information about that, check out Geek Detour's video about that. But they'd likely sue me anyways and it would be too expensive for me to fight against a big company. However, I found out that the patent isn't granted in Europe yet. And guess who lives in Europe? So here's the GitHub page. Now let's install it. For that you need to have Python installed, which you can download from python.org. Then open a command window and type where python and copy that path. Download my script from the GitHub, which is linked in the description. Now in Prusa Slicer, go to Print Settings and then Output Options, and add your path to Python in quotation marks. After that, add the path to the script in quotation marks too. Now you can add minus layer height followed by your layer height. This has to match the layer height which is set in the slicer. And you can add minus extrusion multiplier followed by a number of your choice. This is then applied to only the shifted walls without the top and the bottom layer. If you now slice something and then save it, it will run the script. You can inspect the process G-code afterwards by dragging it into the slicer again. The current limitations are that it only works with relative extrusions and absolute positions for now. But this is most likely the default setting of your printer anyways. There is also a problem if you have multiple top layers. As of now the line height is only compensated at the first layer and the last layer. But I already have a fix to that in mind. And you guys will surely find some bugs as always. You can report them on my GitHub or in my subreddit linked in the description. And I already have some further developments in mind, so stay tuned for updates. If you want to support me, you can like this video and leave a comment. And if you want to see how I made a voice controlled 3D printer, go watch this video. Alright, now have fun with it, goodbye!